going on. So just back here with another video, and it looks like uh, Pierre Polyev just recently made an appearance on a radio show, uh, and you were talking about the recent events with the uh, failed the Trump assassination last weekend. So I just want to uh, you know just play this couple uh, minute clip, and it's very uh, interesting what Pierre Polyev also has to say about you know potential threat attempts or assassination attempts on a prime minister or a prime minister candidate here in Canada. So let's uh, have a look at this, then we'll talk about it after, like usual. The attempted assassination of Donald Trump. You are a controversial person when you step up to those microphones and cameras and notepads. Um, do you ever worry about something like this? I do worry about my family. Um, we um, we have we do receive a lot of... Some of them are threats, some of them are implied threats, and some of them are vitriol that you can tell lead to violence. Now, see, that's interesting, right? I mean, let's be honest here. I think every politician probably receives threats at some point. But after the, you know, the recent events on the weekend, you know, it's kind of, okay, like the, the security threat seems amped up just because something insane happened on Saturday with the failed assassination of Donald Trump. Now, everyone in Canada, especially if you're, you know, you're voting for Pierre Polyev, you're kind of wondering, well, since the liberals are comparing him to Trump all the time, Someone coming after him too. So it is interesting to hear him speak a little bit about this. And he does give us some important details here as well. Um, and a lot of them have been targeted at my family. So we have asked for security from both the Prime Minister through the RCMP and from the House of Commons. Uh, and we received the, that security from both of those sources. I mean... I'm not going to sit here and compliment Trudeau all day, but I mean, good on him for doing that. I'm not sure if he has to do it or what, what the laws are on that specifically, but, you know, given, you know, what happened with Robert Kennedy, he finally got Secret Service protection, obviously with the heightened security risk. And so now Pierre Polyev apparently reached out to Trudeau or at least the RCMP and Trudeau did approve security for him, which is a good thing because... I mean, that would look really bad for Trudeau. Not that he already doesn't look bad enough on so many other issues, but he would look so bad if he denied that request from Pierre Polyev. So, I mean, I'm not going to sit here on this channel and give Justin Trudeau credit a whole lot, but I'll definitely give him credit on that. So we're very blessed to have that. Okay. Um, yeah, I could see. But what about yourself? I mean, you've got to, at some point, coming in here is a safe way to talk to the public, going into a television studio, that sort of thing. But you're not going to be prime minister if you don't go out there and stand at rallies and, and out in public and talk to people. I was just talking with a friend, Alice Pearson, sharing a story when I was out door knocking and I met this lady, she's from Cuba. And mid conversation, she suddenly out of nowhere burst into tears. And I said, what's wrong? And she said, nothing's wrong. I said, well, why are you crying? And she said, I'm so happy. What are you happy about? She said, People like, I come from a place where people like you never come to see people like me. She was poor, Cuban, and where she comes from, the politicians roll by at motorcades with uh -huh. bulletproof glass, and I'm sure they never experience any danger at all, but they don't talk to people either. Yeah. So here's the trade-off. We can have politicians who are behind four, foot, uh, four feet of glass who roll by in motorcades but never shake hands with a, a real human being. And then we won't have a democracy. So we we have the trade off, and you know, I guess there are there are whack jobs out there that could do something. We take all the precautions possible. But we I have to, I have to talk to people, and I'm not going to stop doing that. Yeah, and you know, it's interesting because you know, we never really think about it like this way, like how dangerous it actually is to be a politician. Now, it's been a very long time since we've had a presidential assassination attempt. The last one was Reagan in the 80s. I believe it was 81. So, you know, it's it's been a while. But that being said, you never know what could happen when it can happen. So, you know, it, it's good that he's you know still going out there and talking to people because you can't win just driving. You can't show that much fear and say, hey, but I'm going to be the leader of this country. It is a risk. It is a security risk. It's a, it's a risk for his life and for his family. There's a, a lot of times where Pierre Polyev's wife is with him. Who knows what could potentially happen to her? It's a very scary time if you're a politician right now. Um, uh, but that being said, you know, it, it is good on Pierre that he's still... I've, I've seen recent videos of him, you know, door knocking and going to talk to people. And, 
you know, it, it must be in the back of his mind somewhere, right? That, hey, some guy could just come up and try to kill me. And if I don't have the protection, I mean, it's over. And if we just start killing political opponents, that's not a democracy. But it's also like, you know, like where, you, where this lady comes from in Cuba, that's not a democracy either. And they're constantly worried about being, you know, shot or something happened to them. That's why they drive by in these motorcades with bulletproof cars. They, they don't get out and talk to people, but they also can't, right? They don't have as good of a security. Um, not that the Secret Service did a great job on the weekend. That's still, there's still a lot of questions to, add to you know, dissect there i mean i can tell you one thing i don't believe the official story that's for sure but i don't have we no one knows really what happens yet there's just a lot of questions and we must keep asking those questions and we also need to make sure that all politicians are safe and yes that includes jugmeet singh and justin trudeau nobody should want any kind of violence to happen to justin trudeau even though yes he's destroyed this country that's well documented we don't need to be calling violence and i'm on this channel for sure condoning any acts of violence or any you know violent threats towards any any politician that's not how we're supposed to solve things here and if that's how things are going to start getting solved we're all in big trouble so we cannot let that happen um so that's going to be it for this video guys uh, what do you think about secu uh, pierre polyev's um, new you know updated security request and justin trudeau approving that uh, let me know what you think in the comment section i always enjoy hearing you guys uh comment and i try to get back as soon as possible um and please also don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps this channel. And I'll be back shortly with another video.